guys welcome to this video from crystal tots in this video we're going to learn how to make a bootable DVD of Windows 8.1 this method will, will work on any other uh, operating system on any other version of Windows we we're going to use Windows 8.1 as an example here so we have here a uh, down solution files of Windows 8 I've extracted them from uh, a Windows DVD uh, if you copy these files from uh, Windows DVD directly to another empty DVD it won't be a bootable one so it's recommended to copy them first to the computer then burn them to an empty DVD uh, and make them bootable we're going we're going to use this uh, freeware here image burn it's a freeware from uh, imageburn.com and to make the ISO file we're going to need this uh, file boot dot IMA uh, you're gonna find it in the description below to download it so let's get started we're gonna open image burn first of all we're gonna make the these uh, installation files when we're gonna we're going to convert them to an ISO file a bootable ISO file then we're going to burn them to an empty DVD so uh, we open uh, image burn then uh, we click on create image file from files and folders then uh, select here then uh, select this folder then uh, select folder it shows that uh, it's here then on destination we uh, choose any uh, folder report for example uh, Windows 8 uh, point one finish then uh, on desktop and uh, okay now to make it bootable we're going to this tab advanced then bootable disk then make image bootable on emulation type we choose this one it's very important to choose floppy disk 2.88 megabyte then on boot image we select this file which is uh, boot.ima then open okay everything is ready then we click on this icon here uh, here uh, to choose the name of the volume or the, of the file it, we come, we're going to keep it as Windows 8.1 then okay it will show us some information so we just click okay then it will start to convert these files to a bootable ISO file. Uh, we're gonna be back in a in a second. Okay, it's almost done here. We're gonna wait on it. It takes usually uh, two minutes or three. After this, we're going to burn this ISO file to uh, an empty DVD using also image burn. Okay, it's done. Operation successfully completed. Okay. Then um, this file now is an a bootable ISO file of Windows 8.1. If we open where if we open it with uh, ISO file or with the power ISO it will show us that it's a uh, a bootable image okay we see here that the file it's a bootable image Windows 8 uh, 8.1 it's a bootable image if we uh, burn it into an empty DVD and insert that uh, DVD into computer it will boot directly to the setup file which is uh, this one now we open image burn to the final step which is to burn this ISO file to an empty DVD we click on this icon this time write image file to disk then we select the ISO file then open uh, uh, that said we uh, make sure to that this sign here is ready that means you have inserted a valid uh, empty DVD otherwise it will say that it's not ready okay we click on this it will uh, it will start burn 
to the DVD. It takes it takes usually uh, more than uh, five minutes, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, it's almost done here. Burning the DVD, it will inject the 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 disc. Then we'll put it back and see uh, the bootable uh, DVD. It finished writing. It took about uh, twelve minutes to finish all everything okay it ejected the uh, the file oh attempt to automatically close the drive try have failed no this is to be expected on laptop sponsor on drivers please close it okay we're gonna put it back it needs to do other stuff it's gonna complete other things there it will say that it's ready now it's verifying uh, all sectors that there is, uh, everything is, is working. It will do another uh, about uh, 12 minutes as it says here. Um, we'll, be, we'll be back in, in a second guys. Okay guys for the last time I'll say this. It's done. Operation successfully completed. Then we'll click OK. Uh, we'll verify, uh, we'll close this one first. We're gonna uh, open the disk from the laptop uh, to see if it's bootable. We're gonna open it then put it back. Normally, it will, uh, if we double click on the DVD, it will directly open the, the setup file of Windows 8. Which is uh, this file here. Well, we'll wait for the computer to read the DVD or to recognize the DVD. Then on here, if we, uh, as you can see here, it will ask us what we're going to do. Uh, it shows here that we can directly run the setup also if we double click on this it will directly run the the setup of Windows 8 yes it will start okay we don't want now to install uh, Windows 8 we're going to cancel that that was it for today guys uh, if you have any questions post them down below otherwise thanks for watching uh, goodbye